Uh, we just want to thank everyone in the community for all the support we've seen. We've felt so helpless and seeing everybody out here really looking and helping out really means a lot. So tell us what happened the night this kid went missing. Okay. From our yard. Okay. It was cold. I was gonna make a fire. So a lot of wood in this, this area right here next to our house. I opened up the back gate. I'm throwing wood, bringing it inside the house. My wife's inside. She was actually wrapping gifts, so we thought it was a good idea that they got our youngest to go outside and play with chalk on the, the back patio. Do not let them go on the dirt in the backyard and keep them close. So I was playing with chalk and I came in the house. I saw them there. I went in the house. I came back out. I didn't see them now. I immediately went back in, asked my wife, did you see the boys? She said, no, they should be outside playing with chalk. I said, well, I didn't see them. So I came back outside and I started searching my backyard. I searched the whole thing. I realized that I left the gate open and I panicked, came inside the house, searched the house, me and my wife. Once that hadn't pan out, I got in the van. I looked down the street, most directions. It was getting dark, getting cold, and I got in the van and I hit a bunch of corners. I went down this street, I turned my light on, I searched, I searched, I called their names. I talked to a gentleman on the street on the other side over there, he didn't see me. So then I came home and I told my wife, we need to call the cops. Uh, it's getting dark and I need help, we gotta get going. So I called the cops, cops came. First thing they did was tell us to stay in the house so they can get a hold of us. And they had us just sitting there and we wanted to keep searching. But everybody came out in droves and I wanted to thank you guys that night, but we couldn't go outside. The cops told us the best are out here. The best are out here searching. And we appreciate it. And nobody ever could tell, we could never talk to anybody. And that was the issue. We just want to thank everybody. We really want to and, thank you guys. Uh, please, if anybody has seen them, please call, let somebody know. It, it called the cops, call California the city police department, call them and let them know what you've seen, if you see anything. Our boys, they, they are going to be rambunctious, okay? Uh, they are going to be here in this area. And I really would like to go in the houses, but it's not because I want to invade people's privacy. I just want to know if make they sure. make sure. That's it. Because I don't, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. If you got any questions. Oh, no, you're good. Oh, okay. I, I was just going to say, you know, this is the first time we're hearing from you guys, and I can't imagine what you guys are going through. I can't even fathom it. Um, for you guys, for people who are thinking uh, that there's some kind of foul play involved, um, you know, we just spoke to the biological mother. She says she had a conversation with you guys um, and that she thinks there's some kind of foul play involved. That she thinks you guys did something. And that's understandable. What's your, what's your response to that? That's understandable. I would think the same thing. Yep. I mean, that's exactly the point. And if we can find our, find our babies, then guess what? That's, that's no. And that's all I want is to find our babies. That's it. And I talked to her this morning. And I really wanted to tell her that um, I am completely sorry because we were entrusted with her children and they came to us and they became our children. And we named them and they are they are our children. And so we want them back. So please, if y'all could get back on your what you guys are doing, we'll sh we should be able to get a hold of somebody. But they took all of our tech. So they wanted to, I guess, uh, just rule us out, which makes sense as part of the investigation. So that's pretty much it. Have you guys, um, you talked to the police all last night? Yes. Um, what? So you guys willfully gave them your everything? Technology, yes. The car? Yes. Did they get a, how did they get a search warrant? Did you I, guys? I, oh, no I idea. don't see why they got one, but they got one. Yeah, we would have let them take one, anything. But... We would have let them take everything. We let them come in and search with us. We, we asked them to come do that. What did they take? Just tech. And that's it. Like our phones. From the house, though, did they? 
So, into the, into the, okay, and I guess, I don't even know. I see, yeah, we seriously felt like we needed to be out here. We did. Uh, again, we were told the best are out here looking already, just to stay put. They have more questions. There was literally a cop with us the whole time, in and there. He was, he had sitting down. We would ask, can we go help? They had to sit he down. Said, nope. He said, no, we got the best out there. So we need not, you guys here in case we have more questions. I don't want you guys thinking we, we didn't try. We actually we looked tried. before we called we the police. Looked, yes. And I imagine the uh, mind boggling part is the search for information. What happened? Where are they? Yes. Et cetera, et cetera. And we're, yeah. And, and just so we are able to present the information correctly, um, at what time did you guys notice your kids went missing? And at what time were they reported missing to the police? It's about, I, I believe, I think it was about 4.30, going on 5, it was getting dark, like I said. 5-ish. Five 5-ish. Five That's about it. That's when everything played out. And then when did you guys call the police to report them missing? I After we searched Yeah. a little bit around here, we it was dark, so we definitely were, we got worried. Uh, would, would you say it was maybe within an hour, a couple hours? No, it was within minutes of us getting finished with our search. Okay. It was within minutes. Okay. What do you guys want people at home to understand um, about w this situation? For them, you know, even speaking about what you guys are feeling is difficult. What do you want them at home to understand about this whole situation? We're going through it. It's difficult. I, I mean, everybody's making their own, you know, their own conclusions. They don't know anything. We don't. We're not sure. Exact, like everything, we're not sure. We we said what we knew, and if anybody has seen them, uh, or anything, please call the police department. Would you be willing to provide pictures, or do you have any? Of they. Uh, I have older pictures. All my newest were on my phone. Okay. That's fine. A lot yeah. of people are speaking of this as you know after the math past tense. I want to talk about your kids in present tense. What kind of what kind of boys are these? Tell, tell us about the boys. Very playful, very rambunctious, and they do love to wrestle. They they do love to kind of get rough with each Her other. They're kids. They're kids. Of course, they would love to go out, but we would. So during the pandemic, we weren't trying to go, you know, out here, and so we stay inside. Yes. yes, we did. We searched before we called the cops. That's that what was, was that's what we yeah. were saying. What time did they come up missing? They came missing right before it got dark. <clears throat> And then we call. I, I searched that property. I even drove around the, the whole, this neighborhood right here. I even talked to a gentleman on that side, one of those streets over there. I said, "Did you see my some little black kids?" You and that way looking for them. That's the way I was gonna come. But when I came back home, I decided to call the cops because it was dark. Like, they couldn't have got away that fast. And, and why did it take two people to go in the house and leave? two kids out here by themselves. It should have been one parent going in and one parent right here watching the child. Not two parents going in the house oh, oh, and leaving so you, two little kids out here by themselves for 10 minutes. No, they were in the backyard. And the so back gate was open. the backyard? And the back gate was open and I was getting wood from so this guys lot here. So you unresponsible and left the gate open, left some little kids outside with the gate open. All right. Uh, 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 Sorry, uh, you, you guys were ta talking about your boys who you're, you know, uh, I understand. Um, for a mother, uh, a mother's intuition, I know you were saying, and we, we'll get your names after this, but you were saying how you feel like they're in this area. Uh, do you feel the same way? And what is the intuition? What is the sense you get? What do you think happened to your boys? Do you think someone took them? Do you think they're lost? Do you think yeah, definitely. I definitely know they're not walking around. They're not that kind. They're, they they do not just roam around. You know these patches. They definitely, I think, definitely would have been picked up or something. 
That's that was my assumption. Have they ever taken off over you? No. Nope. No. Nope. They've never taken off. No. Nope. 